Helldivers 2 is a blast. Easily one of the most fun I've had in a video game so far in 2024. This game makes you feel like a starship trooper, plowing through hordes of aliens with some impressive firepower. The game is a PS5 console exclusive, but PC players can also enjoy this multiplayer alien shooter on Steam. So how does the game compare on PlayStation 5 versus PC? To demonstrate, here I have my PS5, which I bought in 2020 for $500. And then I have my main PC. I paid $2,000 for this thing in 2022. It has a 12th gen i7 processor and a RTX 3080 GPU. And hey look, I still never took off all the packaging stickers. Yup, I'm that kind of guy. I'm sure this PC's lost about $800 to $1,000 in value in two years. The PS5, not so much. Even after enjoying it for three to four years, I should still be able to sell it for three to $400. I mean, sure, the PC can do a lot more things than gaming. This is the main desktop I use to capture footage, edit videos, and create all my YouTube content. So for sure, for me at least, it's made me a lot more money than it's lost in value. But if all you do is gaming, then it's it's really hard to beat the value proposition of a PlayStation 5. While we're talking about money on PS5, you also need to pay $12 per month or $80 per year for the basic PS Plus essential. Without that, you can't play online multiplayer. The latest and greatest PCs are always going to be more powerful than the latest PlayStation, but you do have to spend three to four times the money. So how much better is Helldivers 2 going to play for that extra chunk of change? I initially set up the PC version to maximum visual fidelity. This is essentially every graphic settings at ultra maxed out everything. I had the resolution scaling set to ultra quality. With these settings, the game looks really good and gets just around 60 FPS. And 60 FPS, my friends, is what the PS5 can deliver yeah. on the high end. That's of course performance mode. 60 is really what the PS5 targets. Of course, the PS5 can't always hold a solid 60, so you should expect some minor drops into the 50s at times like you see right here. Now, looking at that ultra best looking graphics on PC versus PS4, I mean, there is a difference. The biggest difference is really in the shadows, the lighting. The game just looks a lot more photorealistic on a powerful PC. The vegetation, the textures, the terrain, it all looks better on a powerful powerful PC. From what I can see, PS5 is likely running medium graphic settings. The other big difference here is the resolution. With my 60 FPS setup, the resolution is a lot better on PC as well. This zoomed in image perfectly shows the difference there. PS5 is dynamic resolution hovering between 900 to 1080p. So things can get kind of blurry at times to deliver that 60 FPS. You're especially gonna see that blurriness if you play on a large 4K TV. TV. But if you play on a monitor, you will likely not notice as much. There is of course quality mode on PS5, which can improve the resolution and graphics fidelity, but that mode is 30 FPS. I'm done recommending or playing games like Helldivers at 30 FPS. That quality mode option should not even be in games anymore. Next, I wanted to match the visuals here between the PC and PS5, so I turned the graphics on PC to medium, resolution scaling to balanced, and then we can see that the PC can deliver around 90 FPS. But even at these medium settings, I think the game looks slightly better on the PC than it does on PS5. Between PC and PS5, Helldivers 2 does have crossplay, so you'll get paired with both PC and PS5 players during matchmaking, but matchmaking again is still having issues even days after the game's been released. One way to resolve it is going into options and just turning cross-platform play off. Another cross-platform feature missing is the progression. This might get added later, but if you like to play on both PC and PS5, then you'll have two completely different game saves. PC also has the advantage that you can play with both a controller setup and and a mouse and keyboard setup. With PS5, you're really stuck with controller only. Now I did of course try mouse and keyboard on PS5, 
And guess what? The keyboard works. Even the key bindings, they start to show up. The mouse also moves the camera and this kind of got me excited. But then I realized you can't really aim and shoot, meaning you can't really play with a mouse and keyboard on PS5. That's kind of disappointing. It's like the developers implemented like half a mouse and keyboard and just didn't cross the finish line. Maybe, just maybe we'll see that additional control option added in the future. But for now, you'll have to get a PC if you want to play with mouse and keyboard. So that's what you need to know about PlayStation 5 versus PC and how Helldivers 2 runs on them. For the rest of the video, I have a little bit more gameplay on my 3080 PC build, so enjoy. By the way, I do prefer the ultra maxed out graphics at 60 FPS. I think 60 FPS is There's really the here. sweet spot for this type of game. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. 